Graduation season is underway, and for one graduate, it is particularly sweet. Erica Alfaro posed with her mom and dad in these graduation photos that have gone viral. She's standing with them in her cap and gown in the middle of fruit fields where she used to work alongside her mother. Erica and her parents, Teresa Herrera and Claudia Alfaro, Claudio Alfaro, join us now. Erica, it's great to see you alongside your parents. I know that they don't speak English, so you'll translate for us mm -hmm. if need be. But just tell us the backstory of why you wanted to pose in a fruit field in Carlsbad, California. Yes, uh, the reason why I wanted to pose in the fruit fields in Carlsbad, California is because my parents have always worked in the fields. Uh, my mom is still working in the fields, and I wanted to honor their sacrifices uh, and thank them. I did, and I, that's why I wanted to dedicate my master's degree to them, and that was the perfect way of honoring their sacrifices. Let's talk about your journey, because it has been mm -hmm. a long okay. and difficult one. You got pregnant mm -hmm. at 15 years old. You dropped out of school at that time. And that's when you went to work in those fruit fields with your mom. You then went back to school at 17 years old. You went to, yes. you graduated, you went to community college. You then made it to Cal State. You got your undergraduate degree that took you six years. And then you got your master's degree mm -hmm. at San Diego State. So yes. tell us about this 12 year journey for you and why you were so tenacious in getting these degrees. Uh, yes. I was 15 years old when I got pregnant. I moved to Fresno with my boyfriend and lived under domestic abuse for many years. One night, my baby's father forced me and my baby to sleep outside the house. That night, uh, the memory of a summer when my mom took me to work with her in the fields came to my mind. And that memory was very powerful because uh, the day that I went to work with my mom, uh, when I told her that I was tired, she said, this is our life. The only people that have a good life are the ones that have a good education. And uh, thanks to that memory, I knew that the only way to improve my life, change my life, it was if I got a good education. And so now you have graduated with a master's degree in education. What do you plan to do with it? My main goal is to be a school counselor. I want to encourage students to continue with their education. So can you ask your parents for us? I mean, how are they feeling today? The fact that you've gone, that you listened to your mother's words, that the only way to have a better life than working in those yes. fields was to get an education. How did they feel on your graduation day? Okay, yes. Um, ellos quieren saber cómo te sientes tú que yo me gradué. Oh, quiere que hable. Sí. Oh, uh -huh. Pues voy a hablar ahorita. Uh -huh. Ah, sí. Oh, pues, ¿qué es lo que yo me siento muy orgullosa de mi hija que ha logrado a donde ha llegado? Y yo como madre me siento yeah. muy feliz porque como nosotros siempre uh -huh. hemos dedicado a trabajar en el fil y es muy difícil nuestra vida. Okay. Yeah. Y estoy muy orgullosa de mi hija que ha logrado donde ha llegado. I feel very proud of my daughter. Uh, we always work in the fields and I feel very proud of her. Uh, that she was able to make it all this 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 far. You know, Erica, it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. um, as your mom was speaking, we have many native-born Spanish speakers here on our staff, and so they were translating in my ear yes. because obviously an education does change everyone's life from your parents' station in life to where you'll be yes. able to go. And so why do you think that your, that photo that you put of you with your parents in the fields, why do you think that that has gotten so much attention on social media? What are people saying to you on social media? Everyone is telling me that they can relate to my story, that they have similar backgrounds. Um, a lot of people relate to my story because they, they have the same struggles. They came from the same, uh, they, came, they also came to this country with the hopes of a better life. The story of my parents and my story is the story of other families. That's why um, a lot of people share this picture and I got a lot of positive comments. And so what is your message this morning to other children of immigrants and other immigrant families? I want to show them that it is possible uh, that you can get a good education, that as a Latino community, as immigrants, we need to show that we are good people. We're all Alfaros. 
Uh, we come to this country with the hopes of a better life. We don't want to harm anyone. Hmm. Well, that's a powerful message this morning, and you are a testament to what hard work can do in this country. So Erica Alfaro, along mm -hmm. with your parents, Claudio and Teresa, thank you very much for sharing your personal story with us on New Day. Thank you so much. Thank you.